Formal education has long been seen as the traditional path to acquiring knowledge and skills in various subjects. However, the structure and components of the formal education system can also be used as a framework for becoming a self-taught learner. By understanding how the education system facilitates learning, individuals can embark on a journey of self-directed learning and acquire valuable lessons along the way. The formal education system is structured to facilitate learning through various components. These include curricula, classrooms, teachers, assessments, and resources. Each component plays a crucial role in shaping a learner's education, and they possess both pros and cons. The curriculum serves as a roadmap for what students should learn during their education journey. It outlines the subjects and topics to be covered, providing a structured approach to knowledge acquisition. A well-designed curriculum ensures a comprehensive and systematic understanding of various disciplines. However, one drawback is that it may limit the exploration of topics outside its scope. To become a self-taught learner, individuals can utilize the curriculum as a starting point, but also venture beyond it to explore areas of personal interest. Classrooms, whether physical or virtual, offer a social and collaborative environment for learning. Interacting with peers fosters discussions, debate, and sharing of ideas, allowing learners to develop critical thinking and communication skills. However, the downside is that classrooms may not cater to individual learning styles and pace. As a self-taught learner, one can replicate this collaborative aspect by seeking out online communities, participating in forums, or finding study groups with like-minded individuals. Teachers play a vital role in the formal education system, providing guidance, knowledge, and mentorship. They facilitate learning through lectures, demonstrations, and personalized attention. The expertise and experience of teachers greatly enhances the learning process. However, in a self-taught learning journey, individuals must rely on themselves as the primary source of knowledge. Engaging with online tutorials, video lectures, and well-crafted digital resources can fill this void and serve as virtual teachers. Assessments such as exams or assignments help measure a learner's understanding and progress. They provide feedback, identify areas of improvement, and encourage self-reflection. However, excessive focus on grades and performance can sometimes hinder genuine learning. As a self-taught learner, one can adopt a continuous self-assessment approach, regularly evaluating one's knowledge, setting goals, and seeking feedback ensures the learning journey remains on track and meaningful. Resources including textbooks, libraries, and online materials are essential components of the formal education system. They provide access to vast amounts of information, enabling learners to expand their knowledge. However, 
the abundance of resources can be overwhelming, requiring careful selection and critical evaluation. As a self-taught learner, one can leverage these resources to their advantage, curating personalized learning materials and utilizing various mediums such as articles, videos, podcasts, and online courses. Among these components, the most crucial one for a self-taught learner is personal initiative and motivation. While formal education provides a structured framework, it is one's own drive and curiosity that propel the learning process. Without the determination to explore, ask questions, and seek answers, the benefits of the education system may not be fully realized. Becoming a self-taught learner using these components requires setting clear goals, developing effective study habits, and maintaining discipline. It involves taking ownership of one's education, seeking opportunities for self-improvement, and maintaining a growth mindset. Engaging in self-directed learning not only enhances knowledge acquisition, but cultivates crucial skills for success in a rapidly changing world. Self-learning fosters adaptability, self-reliance, critical thinking, and problem-solving abilities. It empowers individuals to pursue lifelong learning and stay relevant in an ever-evolving society. Not trying to become a self-taught learner comes with certain disadvantages. It limits personal growth and stifles intellectual curiosity. Relying solely on formal education may lead to a passive approach to learning, where individuals may become dependent on external sources rather than actively seeking knowledge. Additionally, in today's competitive world, being a lifelong learner is increasingly valued by employers. And without self-learning skills, individuals may struggle to adapt and thrive in their professional lives. The formal education system provides a structure and components that can be leveraged to embark on a self-taught learning journey. By utilizing the curriculum, classrooms, teachers, assessments, and resources, individuals can become self-directed learners. The most important component is personal initiative and motivation, which drives the learning process. Engaging in self-directed learning brings numerous benefits, including personal growth, the development of crucial skills, and adaptability. On the other hand, not trying to become a self-taught learner limits one's potential and hinders their ability to keep pace with a rapidly changing world. The link to my self-learning course is in the description of this video. If you're interested, check it out. If you like this video, check out the others on my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, thank you for watching and have a great day. See you next week.